welcome to the next unboxing here at the Grüne Horde. Today we will go for the Arc One Prime Firepower Leviathan Helix. The newest Helix on the market, just received it today. Um, front side, as always, the Arc One sign, the Helix sign, and easy black boxes, like all the Planet Four boxes. <coughs> on the back side, you will find what is in there, the content. And we have one El Shami Leviathan on a 10 by 10 centimeter base, a nice blue color scheme. Mine will also get a blue color scheme. And then eight of the um, Imsani light skimmers. These are fearless, which I really like on them. This will keep them in the game for far longer than the normal squadrons. So I will try this on the first game I do with them. Um, it looks great for me by now. First I was a little bit surprised to get a tripod, not, not a skimmer. From, for the Arc ones, by now I'm getting used to it and I think it will be a great model. The values are there also by now, the stats. And I am looking forward to paint it and then play it and you will most likely get a better report with this model within the next two weeks. Okay, let's open it. Let's have a look inside. Now, next is to open the box, finally have a look inside. And yeah, here we get this is what we get. We get one of the normal bags with small pieces. We get two bubble wraps. This must be the body. These are the legs in this long one. And we get a base which is fully modeled with the feet on it already. You can already see that you have good connection points here, joints, where you place the feet inside. Um, this should be easy to mount. What's new? First time I see this. Inside the box, it's the same box as we always get, there is um, a sticker, problems with your product, please email at dispatch at spot on games and you get a batch code. So they finally start checking where are the mistakes coming from, since for me there are more mishaps in the last half year. One reason might be that as a group we are now buying more than I could buy before in, as a single person. But I also think the percentage has gone up, and this is a way to check it up. Okay, let's have a look. First, the most important thing, the Imzani Light Skimmers. I think that's what you were interested in. So, and yeah, you get the bases here. These are the bases we already know. Um, structured, and the Imzani will be flying on them. The Imzanis look great, in my opinion. I've got already two sets out of the core helixes. Um, these are the same models. In some cases a lot of resin on them here but easy to peel off and get rid of it with a uh, hobby knife and then stuff. I think you're more interested on the um, Leviathan so let's get rid of these. You see some pieces from the Leviathan in this bag. I've counted them. The Imsanis are eight pieces. And then we have four more pieces here, which is basically the weapon here. And it's mounted on this here, so you could imagine it to move a little bit. And it's a similar weapon like the normal ones. Here you have the air inlets somewhere here. Um, you have I will paint them similar to the Mycerus here and a crystal weapon in the front. Then there are two more pieces which go to the front of the main body of the Leviata. So the next bag to take a look at are the legs. You get three of them and they will go into the base. You see those holes in the feet and they easily fit there. This is the aft leg and then we have two side legs. And you form a kind of bowl in the middle where the body later fit into it. it. Looks like this. Let's zoom in. And I think it really looks cool. Uh, you can imagine that it just turns around, um, uses another leg, the behind leg as front leg, and uh, shoots in that direction. Rules wise, this is the only Leviathan that is not lumbering. So this fits to the model, in my opinion. Let's give you a zoom into one of the legs. Oh, here you can see the pin going into the uh, feet. 
and then this is one of the legs and it's very easy to build it you have some resin entry point here where you have to take care of and then nice surfaces to glue it together and the last part the last bag has the main body of the Leviathan looks like this let's zoom into it directly you can see it here this comes on top of the legs again detailed structure this might be the missile systems the guns will come down here like this two of them you can mount them in the direction you want and these small extra parts will fit in here like this yeah it looks like mandibles nice interesting and this is the bottom side the lower side and if you take one of the legs you see the hole where the um, body is supposed to go it will go in here and then you can imagine it turning around here and you can mount it in whatever direction you want. So I hope to present them to you painted. So here's the last take for our unboxing video. This is the Leviathan Helix painted. I didn't have a game yet. Um, that will come next. Hope to show it to you soon. You can see those eight Imsani light skimmers in the color scheme I've chosen for my army and you've already seen some in action and then the Leviathan itself. <clears throat> I'm using a glitter pen and glitter effect on the red surfaces here. It's not that good to see on the video. I'm using the same on the blue greenish surfaces of my Aquan fleet that was already visible here and the rest is just a yeah, blue dry brushed uh, model and then some details in green blue and the crystals for shooting I made in a purple pink style here I choose to do the feet in um, yeah, gun metal blue from Vallejo and then went up to chainmail from um, Games Workshop uh, since I'm using the, the same colors for the turquoise shuttle and the turquoise metal stuff so basically the Arquan used some intermediate technology to touch the ground since everything else is a skimmer that was the idea behind this okay so hope to see you again here on the Grüne Horde bye bye